Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the sampling distribution in SPS. Consider the random variable x follows normal distribution with mean equal to 169.75, variance equal to 5.97 squared. In order to obtain the sampling distribution, we have to generate a few samples according to this distribution. We have to decide the size to be taken. For example, if let's say we want to have 1,000 of them, we can make use of Excel, type the number 1, enter, select the number that we type, go to fill, look for series, generate by columns, step value we take 1, stop value we take 1,000. Since we want 1,000 of them, click on OK. Shift Ctrl down to select, Ctrl C to copy back to SPS, paste the value, and this will be the ID of the sample. Go to variable view, change decimals to zero. Rename as ID, and now we can generate the distribution for the X. Go to transform, look for compute variable. Target variable, we can type X1, the first set. For the numeric expression, since we are going to generate random variable, so we should look for random numbers. According to normal distribution for this case, so we should look for the normal distribution up. The first question mark is the mean value, which is 169.75. And the second question mark is the standard deviation, which is 5.97. Click on OK and we should obtain the distribution. Generate for a few sets so that we are able to have the sampling distribution. Go to transform again, compute variable. Now we take X2, the second set. Click on OK. Repeat exactly the same step. Transform, compute, X3, OK. I'm going to repeat this procedure for 36 times so that we are able to compare the sampling distribution for n equal to 2, 9, 25, and 36 respectively. After generated 36 sets of samples, we are now be able to compute the sampling distribution for n equal to 2, 9, 25, 36 respectively. Let's try for n equal to 2, go to transform, compute variable, reset. For target variable, we type x bar 2 since n equal to 2. For the numeric expression, we look for statistical mean since we want to obtain the x bar. First question mark, first sample, x1. Second question mark, second sample, x2. Click on OK and we should obtain the, the sampling distribution. Repeat for n is equal to 9. Go to transform, compute variable, change 2 to 9. And we just have to add x3 until x9. Click on OK. Repeat the same step for n equal to 25 and 36. As n increases, we could observe that the computed means are getting closer and closer as compared to the population mean. Now let's compare the shifts of the sampling distributions. Go to Analyze, look for Descriptive Statistics, click on Frequencies. We should compare the sampling distribution, so we should move order x bar to the variables. Altogether, we have four sampling distributions. Uncheck Display Frequency Tables, click on OK. Go to Charts, select Histogram. Click on continue. If we need some source of statistics, check accordingly and click on continue. Otherwise, ignore. Click on OK and we should obtain the histograms, which we are able to compare. Observe the means and the standard deviations. When n equal to 2, when n equal to 9, when n equal to 25 
and when n equal to 36. You could see that the mean of the sample means are more or less the same, however, the standard deviation getting smaller as n increases, which means that the data set spread more narrow world as n increases, as we can see here. With this mean and standard deviation values, let's try to solve some problem that we usually face when dealing with sampling distribution. Consider these three examples. Let's use a new data book. Make sure that the data view is not empty, otherwise we are not able to compute. Simply type any number, press it to transform, compute variable. Looking for probability, first example, so P1. Type and labor, type the complete expression, probability of x bar less than 168. Click on continue for the numeric expression, look for cumulative distribution function, CDF. Look for normal distribution, since we have normal distribution here. Up, first question mark is the x bar value, which is 168. Second question mark is the mean 169.77. Third question mark is the standard deviation 0 0.97. Click on OK and we should obtain the probability. To increase the decimal point, proceed to variable view, increase accordingly. Now let's try for the second example. We have Transform, compute variable, change P1 to P2, labor, change to more than. We have to bear in mind that SVS uses less than cumulative. For more than cumulative, we should take 1 minus. Since 1 minus less than should be more than. Change 168 to 171. Click on OK and we should obtain the probability as we can see here also go to variable view and increase the decimal point accordingly next example 3 transform compute variable change to p3 since we have a range here and sps uses less than cumulative what we have to do here is use big value minus small value by using less than cumulative change the type and labor change to the correct expression should be from 168 to less than 171 click on continue and we should take cumulative normal up 171 169.77 0 0.97 minus the cumulative distribution of 168. Click on OK and we should obtain the probability as we can see here. Also go to variable view to increase the decimal point if needed. Now, let's say we are asked to obtain the k value which means that the mean value by giving the probability. So what we have to do here same go to transform look for compute variable. This time we can change to x bar 1. Type and labor we change to probability of x bar which is less than k. And we have 0 0.01. Click on continue. Delete the numeric expression. What we need here is the inverse value. Inverse df. Look for inverse normal. First question mark is the probability, which is 0 0.01. Again, bear in mind that this must be less than cumulative. Since this is less, this is also less. So we can use 0 0.01. And the mean is 169.77, while the standard deviation is 0 0.97. Click on OK, and we should obtain the x value. Also, go to variable view to increase decimal point if needed. The last example of this video, we have more than cumulative. Compute variable.
change x bar 1 to x bar 2 type and label change accordingly this time we want more than we should bear in mind that sbs uses less than cumulative but doesn't matter we can apply logic here if more than we have one percent which means that less than we should have 99 percent which is 0 0.99 click on ok and we should obtain the value also go to variable view to increase the decimal point if needed okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you